Hi guys, welcome to your wonderful angle theorems for a triangle foldable. This is in reference to 3.5 um, and we are going to talk about some definitions, some vocabulary for our angles. And the first thing we're going to talk about is our interior angles. They're inside the triangle. These three angles, they are the interior angles, angles that are inside a triangle. Right? The exterior angles are angles that are outside of your triangle. So what ends up happening is an angle that is formed by a side, so right here this would be your side, and an extension of another side. This would be your extension, how it goes past the triangle, and this would be your exterior angle. If you notice, your interior angle and your exterior angle, they form a straight line. So you, whenever you add those, should always get 180 degrees. The next one is remote interior angles. All right, two non-adjacent, meaning they're not touching, interior angles, meaning in the inside of your triangle, to a given exterior angle. So right here, this is our exterior angle and the remote interior angles have to not be touching. So notice how they're not over here, they're not touching this exterior angle, but they're the two angles far away from it. That is your remote interior angles. What I'd like you to do next are the problems identifying the vocabulary. Do your best and we'll be checking those tomorrow. All right, moving along, we're gonna be talking about the triangle sum theorem. Triangle sum theorem. Okay. The triangle sum theorem states that for triangle ABC, ABC, if you take the measure of angle A, this angle right here, add it to the measure of angle B, this angle right here, add that to the measure of angle C, they will always add up to 180 degrees. To put it simply, all the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. All right, now we're gonna do a couple of these um, and then you're gonna do some on your own. So what we found here is that we have 77 and 54. We wanna find this measure right here, the measure of angle Y. So I'm gonna take 77 plus 54 plus the measure of angle Y that I'm trying to figure out and say that it equals 180. Okay, well, 13, I mean 131 is what I get when I add 77 and 54 plus the measure of angle Y equals 180. I'll subtract 131 from both sides and I'll get the measure of angle Y equals 49. I'd like you to do something similar for number two. You guys need to now do number two. We will go over it tomorrow. But we're going to do number three together now. Okay, so number three. We have three angles. And this time, instead of numbers, they're three different expressions. Well, the thing about it is, no matter what angles they are, we know that they're always going to add up to 180. So I'm going to take 7x plus 4x plus 5 plus 6x plus 5 and add them all together and I'll get 180. I end up with 17x when I combine like terms plus 10 equals 180. All right, 17x equals 170 is what I get after I subtract 10 from both sides and then I divide and get x equals 10. Well, I need to find the measure of all of the angles so I'm going to take that 10 and plug it in. The measure of angle S is 7 times 10, which gives me 70. The measure of angle T is 4 times 10 plus 5, which gives me 45. And the measure of angle U is 6 times 10 plus 5, which gives me 65. I would like you guys to try and solve 4 by yourselves. Okay, and then we are going to move along to the 
I can get there. The exterior angle, exterior angle theorem. And that states that the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum, meaning addition, of its remote interior angles. All right, what that means is if I add up angle one and angle two, it will always equal whatever that exterior angle is. So the remote interior angles, when you add them together, will always equal their exterior angle. Let's put this into practice a little bit. Okay, so find the measure of each angle. Well, I'm going to call this x, this interior angle, and I'm going to call this y. So, I'm going to know that if I do 74 plus 58 plus whatever x is, I know that it will equal 180. So, I'm going to do 54 plus 7, 58 plus 74 and get 132 plus x equals 180. I'm going to subtract 132, and that will give me 48. So x, this angle right here, the measure of a, c, b, this angle, equals 48. Now, to find my exterior angle, I'm going to put the exterior angle theorem, the exterior angle theorem, to work, which means I'm going to take my two remote interior angles, 74 and 58, add them together, I will get 132, and guess what? Boom! That's this exterior angle here that we called Y, angle B, C, D. And that's number one. I'd like you guys to try the same thing with number two. Number three, it gets a little bit harder because we introduce some variables. This paper situated. All right, here we go. Number three. Ah, running out of room here. Okay. So again, it says find the measure of each angle. All right. Well, first I'm going to start by knowing that if I add my two remote interior angles, they will always equal my exterior angle. So I'm going to take 18x plus 15x plus 3, these two angles, and set them equal to 135 because that's what my remote, or that's what my exterior angle was. When I combine like terms, I get 33x plus 3 equals 135. I'm going to subtract that 3 and I'll get 33x equals 132. And then I will divide and get x equals 4. Okay, well now I'm able to find my angle measures. So I'm going to start with angle R up here, and I know that it's going to be 4 times 18, and that gives me 72. So the measure of angle R is 72. All right, now I'm going to look for the measure of angle S. All right, well, the measure of angle S is 15 times 4 plus 3. Well, 15 times 4 is 60, plus 3 is 63. So there's the measure of angle S. And then the last one it wants me to find is RQS, this angle right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 72 and 63 and subtract them from 180. Because three angles of a triangle add up to 180. That will give me 45. So now I know that my final angle is 45. And I would like you guys to go ahead and try number four on your own. In case you didn't get a good enough glimpse of that, this was the last answer, 45. All right, that's it. Have a good one, guys.